So ukiingia hapo you undress the person mm -hmm. then you have to disinfect juju ya mauli wa janini mm -hmm. you disinfect the human remain mm -hmm. After that, uh, you now look for the femoral artery. Hiyo ndo artery yenye inatumika kupitisha dawa yende kwa mwili. So the reason as to why tuna clean is because the moment your dawa imeingia kwa mwili, hiyo pressure inafanya the remain vitu zinaanza kutoka like the fluids, body fluids zinatoka. So you have to wash them awezi mweka hivyo. Ni kuna vile unaweza prepare mwili a dead body na family katai kuna at a point kuna une, mtu anaweza dawa i exceed i aribu mtu have you heard of any unusual stories in a mog or oh, siji mtu alifufuka in the middle of maybe amesha kwa kwa freezer i don't know ako kwa meza unamtayarisha akafufuka mtu anasema mortician flani i'm sure you have friends who are morticians yeah. anasema i heard the voice of someone talking to me have you heard of these unusual experiences so that instance yenye ulingia na mamako na auntie yako haikuwa ulikuwa ushaanza kusoma uh, bado bado sikuwa ni join like my mom wanted me to go and experience so yeah, she was not believing so alikaniambia twende uone usikwe tu unaongea twende uone kwanza uone kama utaendelea na iko sama hapana so sikuwa nasoma that time mm. right so sasa umeingia shule right um umeingia kwa and like a mogi nyu unasomea and experiencing a dead body umepatiwa like now let's prepare it how was the feeling that time okay i was a bit nervous ju ju nilikuwa tuko class bado na tunapelekwa practicals so like uju utafanya nini uju unaweza kata ukate kitu yenye sio hiyo but at the end ukifanya practice and practice nikakuwa at least hii naweza fanya kitu huko ndani eh debu take us through the process of preparing a dead body for a funeral assuming sahi kuna mtu ame god forbid mtu amegongwa hapa na pikipiki gari like there's an accident on the road and then mwili imeletwa pale kwa mog what's the process like okay first of all the mwili kisha kuwa received kwa mog kuna documentation anafanywa ana notiwa hapo hivyo is is in identity and everything then there is a tag someone is tied a tag ya kuonyesha his number so na hiyo tag atabaki nayo like ni yake so uh, after the documentation anapelekwa embalming room then uh, before anything happens you see the mortician has to be safe first so lazima ukome va the PPEs the gumboots the mask headgear eyewear na what else yeah i think iso so ukiingia hapo you undress the person mm -hmm. then you have to disinfect juju ya mauli wa janini mm -hmm. you disinfect the human remain mm -hmm. after that uh, you now look for the femoral artery hiyo mm -hmm. ndo artery yenye inatumika mm -hmm. kupitisha dawa yende kwa mwili mm -hmm. which is here on the leg mm -hmm. so after we locate mm -hmm. you dawa gani sorry okay the medicine is called uh, formalin that is the med chemical medicine that we use to preserve your mwili so after you mepata hiyo femoral artery you do an insertion mm -hmm. then unatumia hiyo unaweka hiyo dawa i mean so after you unaipea like some minutes ndio dawa iweze ku circulate iende mm -hmm. everywhere kwa mwili mzima mm -hmm. so after that unamtoa una kwa dawa you unamshona then then unam clean mm -hmm. so the reason as to why it una clean is because the moment your dawa imeingia kwa mwili hiyo pressure inafanya the remain mm -hmm. vitu zinaanza kutoka like the fluids body fluids zinatoka mm -hmm. so you have to wash them awezi mweka hivyo so after washing unam drain then unamweka kwa fridge mm -hmm. yeah okay. so what about the embalming process now maybe you can explain ya watu embalming ni nini Okay embalming is the chemical treatment now of the remain that is what i've been explaining that now is the process uh -huh. so yeah. that is whatever you have explained on your embalming process yeah. uh -huh. exactly yeah. right so um what are some of the challenges that a mortician experiences from their day to day life being a, a mortician uh being a mortician one of the challenges ni zasema ni maybe ukuje upate the family mm -hmm. wanakuja wanaanza kusema like let's say kuna kitu umefanya mm -hmm. 
then so soon at that time the family is in grief so they will come there they start saying all sort of things so that's those are some of the challenges but just like where we come a motician when elewa the family is under pain you can't react so that is one of the challenge then so far i've not experienced other, any other challenge because because um, sijakuwa huko ndani sana i'm not working currently i'm just doing my practicals then nasoma pia mm-hmm. mm-hmm. um kwa klase zako umefunzwa nini about you know ku ku ku, ku relate na family time yenye iko hiyo process ya ku prepare mwili yao maybe wamekuja na claims nini nini how are you supposed to calm them calm them down like assure them kila kitu iko sawa na kuwatuliza tu maybe mtu anataka kuona mtu wao ako in the process of kukua prepared what have you been told so uh, basically that is like grieving process like family itakuja maybe the person when ya me pass was the breadwinner they are there complaining sijui nitafanya nini mtoto wangu yeye ndo alikuwa everything so like you as the mortician you have to understand try and put yourself in that shoe listen to that person after she has he or she amesema everything try to advise her mwambie to stay positive though the person I mean that is not the end of everything you can still pick up from where he or she left and continue just be an encourager up with her hakuna time ya kwanza kumwambia ati sijui wewe oh, mjalipa nini ni no mm-hmm. you're just supposed to be loving to that person show him that if it, despite the person is not there but we still care mm-hmm. about you yeah unajua watu wanakuanga na stories mingi sana <laughs> you know and beliefs and so many misconceptions have you heard of any unusual stories in amog Oh sijui mtu alifufuka in the middle of maybe amesha kwa kwa freezer i don't know ako kwa meza unamtayarisha akafufuka mtu anasema mortician flani i'm sure you have friends who are morticians yeah. anasema i had the voice of someone talking to me have you heard of these unusual experiences okay about those experiences is only what you want to actually the people who are saying utapata they are not the morticians wenye wanafanya kazi hapo because mm. as for me sijaiski ati mtu alikufa akafufuka mm. sijui alikukujia sijui nini i've never heard of such things yeah still on that story there is this guy um tulimfanya interview hapa na pia amefanywa several other interviews he was saying he used to work at a mog na kazi yake ilikuwa ku finish alikuwa anaitwa the finisher so his work typically was mwili kishaletwa kwa mog aki notice mtu anasonga kidogo like you finish that person off is that something that eco like kwa classes zako have you been taught about that and is that even ethical Okay first it's not ethical usijafunzwa kitu kama hiyo because you see when a person is certain that the person is no more ni daktari maybe from the from the hospital is the doctor will come to a certain if the person is still there or not so akiletwa kwetu si tunajua huyo mtu ayuko na if it happens he's still alive you can't like finish si lazima umtoe mrudishe usi apone or something Eh, so we don't do that and it's not advised yeah so hakuna kazi kama si degree finisher hakuna hakuna kazi kama hiyo <laughs> okay being a mortician takes a lot on your mind right and um kuonanga dead bodies every other time leo kesho like do does a mortician require therapy counseling juu ya ku deal na mili mingi hivyo ku deal pia na grieving families do they require therapy Yes, you see a mortician is just like any other person there's some feelings and emotions and everything so once in a while if he or she anafanywa counseling it's for his psychological benefits you know now yeah so i think it's advised for one to have the counseling yeah wewe time yenye ulienda ku prepare a body the first time you know um in a mog what was going through your mind like what was your emotional states at that time okay the first time uh, i prepared i was like nervous mm-hmm. but at the back of my head i was positive and strong and know that as for me for the family to be proud i must do my job to make sure the person is okay sijamwaribu dawa iko sawa because nikiona family imekubali at least i'm proud of myself eh nimefanya kitu mzuri hadi familia iko happy na kazi yangu unaona so like i have to remain positive and strong 
Mm. Kwani kuna vile unaweza prepare mwili a dead body na family katai? Kuna at a point kuna une, mtu anaweka dawa i exceed mm. iaribu mtu. Mm. Eh, so like you have to put the exact measure. That's why I'm telling you you have to be positive, strong na una focus na kazi, na kitu unafanya because something can go wrong. Na once anything goes wrong ni water blame you na familia. Mm. Mm. Kuna watu wenye mlikuwa mnasoma nao um, walifika mahali waka drop out wakawa na hii siwezi siwezi ni nayo anymore. Siwezi ku handle you know mwili me come iko na damu ni I can't Okay first niki join people were a bit afraid but with the time tumefunzwa and everything process uje pia it takes time but for now no one has dropped out kila mtu bado ako and yeah tunaendelea tu mm. so um in the event that mtu ameletwa kwa mog ako completely dis- disfigured na familia inataka tunataka huyu mtu wetu abaki tu like tunataka kumuona vile alikuwa but they are com- like wako disfigured what do you do okay such situations may happen so when such a remain ama body is brought in the kuna process inaitwa reconstruction so as long as umetuonyesha picha yake so there is a reconstruction that take place they will try and remodel the person though at least akuje at okay like the way he used to be before mm-hmm. yeah. is this like a surgery uh let's say it's, it's kind of a bit of a surgery mm-hmm. but we normally do it in a normal clay mm-hmm. just use clay to remodel oh. yeah mm-hmm. really clay mm. interesting yeah mm-hmm. so kuna watu wenye wanajua hiyo kazi mm-hmm. they can do it eh mm-hmm. Also hiyo si kazi ya motisha ni ni mtu mwingine completely different. Mtu mwingine but ni motician but unajua pia motisha unafunzwa hiyo embalming unafunzwa reconstruction unafunzwa vile unafaa body kwe viewed and everything so it's under the same nini category bado. Yeah. What about um kuna watu maybe wanatakanga watu wao wafanyiwe makeup kidogo like to look in a certain way. Eh yeah, pia makeup ni huyo motician bado atafanya. Yeah makeup kitaka watamfanyia and everything. Mm. Ni misconceptions gani watu wanakuanga nazo about morticians? Hapo <laughs> kwa misconceptions. <laughs> Eni mingi vile ume react ni kazi kwa mob. Utapata mtu anakuambia mortician um, before end the job lazima kunywe pombe, mm-hmm. sijui lazima avute bangi, mm-hmm. lazima sijui afanye nini. Mm-hmm. But for me I don't think is of it is necessary because so far i've been there na situmiangi pombe sivuti i have my friends and my colleagues yeah. wenye wanafanya kazi na sijaona wakitumia any drug mm-hmm. so hizo ni story tu za watu mm-hmm. mm. <laughs> lakini mtu mwenye had, kuna kuna i don't know kama kitambo lazima ungesomea kwa motisha ni this something new ama ni kitu yenye imekuwa okay before the society wa kuwa na recognize as morticians mm-hmm. so ungepata mtu ana job anaambiwa aenda kwa mog mm-hmm. aenda kwa mog so mm-hmm. unaona utakupata that's why unasikia stories za mm-hmm. watu ku finish sijui nini nini but nowadays mm-hmm. kuna certificate is being offered mm-hmm. diploma pia it's being offered mm-hmm. so you have to ni kama tu kazi nyingine lazima usome ukue na hizo certificate ndio upate job mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so maybe watu kama hao ndio walikuwa wanatumia drugs kwa sababu haikuwa passion yeah exactly mm-hmm. Unajua sasa ni kitu maybe alikuwa amefosiwa. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um in the life of you know I, I was just going through comments some comments um on some of the stories that have been done about morticians. Na watu wako like you know mortician anafaa kulipwa a lot of money. So um in your experience ama time you uko shule na your friends wenye ni morticians salary ya mortician inakaje? Okay about the salary Uh, let's say it will range with the scale na pia what the government offers junajua entry point kuna mwenye atanzia chini na kuna mwenye atanzia mali so ina depend pia na pesa yenye itakuwa provided hapo mm-hmm. uh, um i don't know if you remember time yenye Brian Shira passed away there's someone who leaked his photos akioshwa is that ethical is that right click like, i don't think it's ethical because Though the person na me pass you still have to pay the respect mm. it's not ethical kuchukua picha ya mtu mwenye amekufa mm. eh 
But I think the person when I I don't think if the person was a mortician because morticians when I do, if I kuchukua picha yamtu, you need privacy, okay? So you are not supposed to intervene in privacy yamtu. Though I'm a kufa, it's not advised. Mm -hmm. What kind of consequences? Mtu ane zako anazo, you know, maybe bosswa kwa ki realize that umefanya kitu kama yuo. Ah, uh, apo uneza shikwa na ufutwe job pia because I, it's, it's not supposed to ukiangalia kwa rights it's aiko hapo ufai kufanya hivyo ni kama saa hii nikuje nikuchukue picha na wea si nitashikwa so why not do that do the right thing kwa mtu amekufa yeah mm. um the other thing i think i would want us to know is is there something families need to know when mtu wao kwa mug okay what families need to know is that their person is taken care of Eh, yeah, and everything is fine as long as uh, umemleta, ameshugulikiwa, utakuja kumchukua, kuna kitu unafau worry about akiwa uko. Eh. What happens to watu wenye wako unidentified in a mug? Okay. And are you supposed, kama mtu amefika kwa mug na haja kuwa identified, are you supposed to take them through that process ya cleaning them up, you know, embalming process, nini nini. Ama that only happens mtu akikuwa anakaribia kuenda kuzikwa. Okay, at first, mtu akileto unidentified. I think it's not uh, good kumfanyi embalming because at some point, family itakuja iseme siya atu kwa gri kufanyia uyu embalming. Sasa mbona mmefanyia. So like lazima akua identified wajue uyu ni uyu na uyu na ni hivi so that unajua pia like for me i've worked in a hospital morgue setup so utapata mtu maybe amepass kwa hosi ameletwa hapo kwa mog and uh, familia inasema aitaki alafu tuseme like once tumeshamfanyia embalming process na familia imekataa inasema aitaki akae hapo so tunaona tenda loss kwetu judicial mwekea dawa and everything so tunangoja familia kwanza ya approve kama atafanyua hapo ama watampeleka kwa mogenye wanaona iko sawa. Mm -hmm. mm. um, sasa umekaribia kumaliza shule, you know, umeshafika halfway already. Is there any specific mog you would wa you would want to work? Okay, sina any specific mog. Just any mog yenye itakuwa available na kuna vacancy, I'll go and do that job there because uh, mog job ni ile ile nikipelekwa mogi ya Nairobi Mombasa job ni ile ile bado so sina any specifications mm. um maybe give a word of advice to someone who wants to study mortuary science okay uh, to anyone who wants to do mortuary science is allowed akuja fanye e course is just like any other course hakuna kuogopa there's no this thing at nightmare and stuff hapana kama uko passionate and willing to do the job i think you can just go for it mm -hmm. mm. Okay. so um anything else you'd like to share before to maliza um, i don't think so mm -hmm. mm. so thank you for your time <laughs> thank you so guys, um, you have heard from Sharon. Um, so that is what goes on in a mug. Maybe we'll look for her. Temenyame Maliza Shule at Wambia Process Vile Iko. And yeah, we get to see her in her day today live. So Usio Gope, if you want to study mortuary science, go for it. Hakuna izo. Umeske izo vitu zote ni misconceptions. So long as you have the passion, then you don't need to rely on drugs to keep you going. Anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time.